Lobby Week uh, is a week where students from across the country come to Ottawa. We're meeting with members of parliament and senators um, from different provinces, and we're here to talk to them about education and what students' um, priorities are for post-secondary education in Canada, how we can make it better, how we can make it more accessible. We're hearing from students about how meetings are going with MPs and senators from across the country, so let's hear from them. We, uh, there's hundreds of meetings, I guess, that happen every year, you know, with MPs and senators on student issues. Um, some of them have more success than others, but it's all necessary as part of the movement. Uh, jusqu'à date, les, jusqu'à date les, les réponses sont quand même assez positives. Je pense qu'on présente des recommandations euh, qui sont soutenues par de la recherche, donc c'est un petit peu difficile parfois à contrer nos recommandations à moins, d'un désaccord, à moins d'avoir un désaccord. Euh, mais ce que j'espère voir, par contre, c'est pas juste de nous dire bravo, euh, bon travail, mais aussi d'inclure des recommandations dans leur plateforme électorale pour la prochaine élection fédérale en 2015. And I think it's it's really important in making sure that post-secondary education is on is on the table. It's a topic that's the top of uh, MPs and, sen- and senators' minds. I really got the feeling that they were, you know, they had the the meetings just to appease the students and um, and to uh, promote themselves. We've had some who who are uh, not so much dismissive, but uh, seem to think that there's nothing they can do, there's no commitment that they can make, it's somebody else's responsibilities. Uh, and so we're trying to, to push back and say, no, uh, it's it's all of our responsibility to, to take action and, and address these issues. I guess it's a little surprising when we, we hear pushback on some of our recommendations because um, what, what we're trying to do is create a system that's open and accessible to all. We're coming back with the ability to be able to train up uh, other folks that are interested in doing this work in our province as well. Because at the end of the day, we put them where they are. So they should be listening to us rather than us, you know, being worried about talking to them. There are MPs and we should feel empowered when we talk to them. But overall, they, especially the Conservative MPs, were very receptive, um, very open to what we had to say. A lot of them took interest in things like our youth employment strategy suggestions in terms of adopting the German um, dual system of vocational training and public education. But it's still very difficult to see really des guarantees or des promises from the part of senators or deputies. We saw that there were really a lot of people who said, yes, yeah, it's good, there's a problem. We see that everyone is agreed with the fact that there's a problem, but there's not really a lot of il n'y a pas vraiment beaucoup de garanties ou de promesses ou, de, ou d'action qui se passe. En fait, on voit beaucoup d'inaction euh, avec notre gouvernement. Et puis ça, c'est très décourageant, c'est frustrant en tant qu'étudiant euh, et représentant d'étudiants. Je pense que c'était excitant um, de voir un peu de sweating et un peu de nail biting um, et de reconnaître que nous savons actually ce que nous parlons et que nous um, représentons over about half a million students across the country in terms of what students want right now. It's very important for students to have a voice, talk to people, you know, talk with the senators, talk with the lawmakers, talk with the government officials. After all, we are the future.